Yep, welcome to the shed where I've got the, um, let's say, the Land Rover V8, which everybody knows is the um, BMW V8 M62. It's the um, engine harness, and I've had to modify it quite a bit. Um, just basically join wires and length and wires and whatnot. So, just here on the um, Land Rover, that's where the mass airflow wires come out, which is this over here. So, basically, chop the wires and um, chop the wires, join them to some black, some generic black wire all the way out to here so there's my mass airflow wires which now I've got to join up to that plug and then of course all the other wires so your, your Vanos um, because basically to do the same thing on the Land Rovers they come out here and which on the engine comes out around here somewhere and then it comes down to that um, right hand bank or left hand bank however you want to say you're here in right hand drive Australia so you say the passenger side bank so what I've had to do was give the wires a snip over there pull them through join them loop them all through here which is what I've got here now so um, you know purge solenoid throttle actuator um, what else have I got there? The cam, no, not the cam sensor, Vanos and other stuff. So that's where I'm at. So you've got to get some um, more heat shrink and some convoluted tubing for this and for that. Um, I've left them quite a fair bit longer so I can trim them once I've put the engine harness in the engine bay. I've got a Starter motor is now on the other side of the engine, so I've got to take those wires out of the plug or snip them, whatever. Pull them through, pull them through, and I'll have them come out. Pardon me, just there where the other wires came out, and that'll go down to the starter motor, which will be on the passenger side. Um, at this end to the the mess. I've just been labelling um, relays, wires, whatnot. Um, this little plug here, that's the main, well, one of the interactions. So you've got your main power supply, um, you've got power back to the um, starter switch via the immobiliser. Um, the E53s and the Land Rovers are on the starter relay, whereas the um, E46 update never did. Just runs straight from the immobiliser straight to the um, starter motor solenoid. But you don't need to worry about that anyway. So I've got to find out what all these wires do. I know most of them, um, you got these ones on the back are for the um, coolant. And then you got, I think it, there's oil. There's an oil pressure line, like an oil level rather, an oil pressure, um, starter feedback, um, that sort of thing. So, yes. And then what I'm doing here, got my Land Rover pinouts for all the ECU connections, um, which is applicable to this harness, of course. But if I get an E53 um, DME, I have to make sure that it's um, the same. So most of them are similar, not all of them. Um, what I'm doing here at the moment, I've got an E46. Um, this is, I love BMW. That's the that's the um, the connector, which will be X6004. Is that bad boy? And I'm making sure that all those wires and all those pins 
are the same as that on an X5 V53. And that's where I'm up to now. Boring, but got to do it. And uh, all this stuff, you can download freely off the internet. It's, um, there you go, www.newtis.info. And then type in your VIN number or you can select whatever car you got and away you go. Very big help in this project. Anyway, that's where I'm up to. Cheers.